Before video gaming, things were extremely tight a lot of years. I had to do something to offset the loss of revenue from our smoking ban. It's been a win-win for us and the state. It depends on really how it final is finalized. Right now the current tax rate is 30% and they're talking as much as 50%. So that's a huge increase. But we already pay more in the tax rate than most of the out-of-state casinos. Our money, when it's invested here in the video gaming and the communities, comes back to our communities. We've been able to issue several pay raises to our personnel without increasing prices along the way. I mean, it's a user tax, basically. If you play the machines, you're, you're paying for it. If not, then it doesn't affect you. But it has helped you because we haven't in, had to increase pricing on food or beverage like we normally would. So it's been a tremendous help. Not only that, we remodeled the outside of our facility last year. Well, it's going to affect everybody statewide. I mean, if it starts there, where's it going to stop? Once you get your foot in the door, the door can't ever be closed again. So it may not affect me tomorrow, but what about the day after, or the week after, or the month after? Once that rock starts rolling down the hill, it's hard to stop it. And we're already, as I said, we're already paying more than the racetracks and most casinos. The simplest way to resolve this whole issue would be to get the city of Chicago involved in the video gaming, and that would far exceed. I mean, when the estimated earnings included the city of Chicago, and we've exceeded that without them. So if you simply added the city of Chicago, we'd be way ahead of scale.